Miles and and all that preceded him, Miles Davis and all that preceded him, and wh how he built up his own art form was what he brought to all of us that were working uh, with him. Because by the uh, by that time, in the '60s, Miles was already already I think into his late 40s. He was already uh, had accomplished an, an incredible amount in music. And he had a young crew with him. Um, and, and from that quintet with uh, Herbie, Wayne, Tony, and Ron, that grew into the, uh, the next quintet, which I was a part of with Jack DeJeanette uh, and Dave Hall and, and Wayne. And then that kept growing into the Bitches Brew recording uh, and into Miles' later, later bands that, that became more rock-oriented and more beat oriented that way, um, there was this whole transition that took place. But the main ingredient there, uh, if there was any special ingredient, uh, was, was Miles and the way he led the way. And basically, um, uh, basically there, was, there was an agreement amongst, uh, amongst those musicians, not spoken, uh, but something that we all shared, which was everybody I in that band, Herbie, Wayne, Tony, Ron, Miles himself, and in the band that I was in, uh, <clears throat> and these musicians are, are special in the sense that, uh, that they and we dedicate our lives to it. It's, it's not, I mean, it's a hobby for sure, and it's fun for sure, but it's a lifetime pursuit, and it's something that we do we do uh, passionately, devotedly, every day of our lives. So, so it becomes um, uh, it becomes important to know how to grow and to know how to stay fresh. And the thing that Miles brought to that whole thing was an example to all of us of how to trust yourself, of how to of, of how to use your imagination. And let it be, and let yourself be, and and uh, all Miles ever wanted from from uh, people he worked with him was creativity. He wanted them to be naturally be themselves and be and, and express something, bring something to the music, because 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 he played off of all of that. Miles played off of uh, off of what uh, what creativity came his way, and then he made he participated with it, and he he, he directed it sort of, and he put it into a, f a form with the bands that he made and so forth, and he, he nurtured it. So that was the lesson that I learned, probably in, in b various other terms, corroborated by all the rest of my friends and these guys in, the, in that early band. Uh, so trust yourself. That was Miles's, uh, that was trust your imagination. When he says play what you don't hear, he means you trust your, Trust your imagination. Trust yourself to, to say, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm just going to do it because it's fun, because I love it, you see. <laughs>